Perhaps everyone is becoming food conscious. In the village of Canneries, Creole Pot ensures that everything offered is local. This is the village of Canneries. Some call it the Siberia of St. Lucia because of its state of desolation and it being among the poorest communities on the island. Long ago, or oh, before they used to say that Canneries was at the back of God's back, but right now Canneries, I can say that Canneries is going very far. Despite its struggles, Efforts are being made to give the community some exposure and to open up the district to the wider St. Lucian public. With varying types of attractions being set up in and around the village, Canaries is now poised to enjoy its fair share of the pie and become popular like any other community on the island. Welcome to Creole Port a food and entertainment attraction staged within the village every other Saturday. It was um, in an attempt to create and have some economic activities come into canneries and with a view for the locals and tourists alike. The activity began in November of 2005 and has since become another one of St. Lucia's major community attractions. The Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries is highly supportive of the Canary's Creole Port as it promotes the use of local foods. In fact, this is what Canary's Creole Port is all about. On display, as you can see, we have local food, we have the local pork, our local chicken, we have um, a variety of juices, passion fruit, grapefruit, um, golden apple. Nukani buapi, sardine sale, nukani maniku, nukani kibish. Our specialty, we have rabbit. We marinate it with coconut milk. We also marinate it with some tomatoes. We can stew it. We have la balau, which is our local fish in canneries. We have our green fig and salt fish, stew pork, local. We also have smoke herring. The ministry has in recent times organized competitions among our schools and housewives in the use of local produce to create similar sumptuous dishes. Two craft vendors lend to the activity a craft component also supported by the Department of Agriculture. The activity also includes local attractions. The West Coast Band, among others, is adding to the local flavor, while talents from in and around the village are put on display. The event is organized by Canary's Creole Port, a registered company which is made up of 19 members, most of which are women from Canaries and its environs. The Madras West seen here is indicative that Creole Port seeks to promote that which is ours. So far, the group is being assisted by Bounty Rum, which provides tents, products, and assist with the promotion of the activity. Winwood and Leeward Brewery, through Peter Bay, is another major sponsor, while Bank of St. Lucia, thanks to Mr. Andy Lake, has assisted with cash donations, which went a long way in paying off some expenses. The Canaries Creole Port would like to thank also our local artists who have donated time and talent and have added significantly to the entertainment. Mrs. Edward, public relations officer of the group, has been a driving force behind the activity and with the support of her husband, donated time and money and the stage on which the presentations are made. 
Canary's Creole Port has blossomed into a major attraction. Local food, craft and entertainment is the order of the day. All that's left to do now is to invite the wider St. Lucian community to come and sample a truly St. Lucian flavor, one which is local, safe and unique. Tonight we're talking about the Canary's Creole Port, the hottest thing ever on a Saturday evening in St. Lucia. If you want to have a good time right now in St. Lucia, you must come to Canary's Creole Port. All that you want awaits you at Canary's Creole Port, hosted in the village every other Saturday from 5 p.m. Let's go.